Today, Meat Boy is making some raw hot chocolate. And yeah, this might be called a warm chocolate. It's technically not raw as you know, raw cacao undergoes natural fermentation at 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't considered raw, but it's certainly delicious. It's incredibly good for you. Let's get started. As you can imagine, chocolate does not melt too well if we want to keep this below 95 degrees Fahrenheit. These raw cacao nibs actually don't melt at all. So we have to grind them into a powder using a spice grinder. Then we're gonna warm up some milk, put it in the blender with the cacao, blend it up with some honey and some vanilla bean powder. Very simple, but all of the ingredients of are incredibly high quality. We have the raw cacao, that is, as we said, technically not raw, as through natural fermentation, it exceeds a raw temperature. We have raw honey, and it's important to keep raw honey below 95 degrees. It's different than other raw foods. The enzymes degrade at a lower temperature. Uh, we have some raw vanilla bean here. I like adding this for a little bit of flavor. Uh, you could also do some cinnamon, and some people even add a pinch of salt. Of course, we have the raw milk, and this is the key here. Super high quality, raw grass-fed local goat milk from a farm. We're gonna start with 200 milliliters of milk. And we're gonna get this on the burner and bring it up to about 95 degrees. The ratio is 20% cacao and 20% honey. Seeing as we just measured 200 milliliters of milk, we need 40 grams of cacao, 40 grams of honey. You could use cocoa powder in this. It doesn't have as much flavor and it's generally not as high quality. And we're gonna grind this up into a powder. Our milk is warmed up approximately 100 degrees. And when we put it in this plastic container, it's gonna go down a few degrees. So we don't have to worry about the honey exceeding 95. And now we have the cacao, that is a powder. If you don't have a spice grinder, you can't just put these nibs in a blender with the milk, I already tried that. They just don't break up. And we want another 40 grams of honey, so up to 280 total. And the amount of honey is really up to you. Of course, you can make it sweeter. But this raw cacao is pretty bitter. Then just a little pinch of vanilla. And we'll blend this up. I feel like a vegan with this. Freely's chocolate drink. Jeannie, you wanna try this hot chocolate? Coming. I think she smelled the chocolate or something because I didn't even tell her that I was making hot chocolate. Tell me you did say chocolate. Okay, well, she didn't have breakfast yet, and the first thing she usually does is rush down and have breakfast, but today was something a little different. Mmm, this is good. Tell the viewers how you don't wear makeup at all. Because they think you wear makeup. Well, that doesn't really matter because the vegans say I wear makeup, some people don't. What are you gonna do? So this is more of like an Italian hot chocolate. For those of you that don't know, American hot chocolate is kind of like slightly chocolatey milk, whereas the Italian hot chocolate is much higher chocolate content, much deeper flavors. Overall, the chocolate isn't really bitter at all. Nice, balanced, not actually too sweet, despite adding, you know, two tablespoons of honey to it. And because we have raw milk, you know, there's plenty of vitamins. You're trying to get all over yourself. Uh, there's plenty of vitamins, plenty of minerals, plenty of elements. It's a decently healthy breakfast. You know, I mean, I still think you should opt for some, you know, eggs or maybe even some meat most days with your breakfast. Uh, but this is definitely nice in a pinch or nice as a dessert. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, definitely share the video if you can. If you guys do want to support me further, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you guys do want to reach out to me for a one-on-one -on -one consultation, you can check out frank-stefano.com. Thanks again for joining me guys and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Mm, this is delicious.